yes guys uh, welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel okay this is a series which i started okay trying to grow a 10k account okay yes plenty of people ask why am i not showing why am i just showing the chat i'm showing you the chat so that you can go over and check it out for yourself your win rate depends on your money management trust me if you want to target a one to two it's left to you by target a one to 1 1.5 on my channel and the rules for this trading series is that i trade from 4 a.m gmt plus one to 9 a.m gmt plus one okay but before we go into today's trade and before i tell you the summary of the last trade if you've not watched the last video i'll advise you to watch that after this one so that you know the way it works and familiarize yourself with the strategy at a o yes i want to talk about some comment i've received on my channel from two groups of people yes you know you always have this wrong group of people who always want to prove to you that they know what they are talking about and you are wrong when they are not yes i enjoyed those kind of comments because i love to prove them wrong they were telling me why am i using the ikanashi candles why am i not using the normal price as the normal candle that i can actually does not give the real price okay now this is what i think about this particular set of people they either know about the strategy and they don't want others to use this strategy or they have their other strategy which they sell and they want to make your own look bad just to sell their own funny enough i don't sell this strategy this is a strategy that was put up that was recommended to me by a friend on this same channel so i tested it i liked it it gave good signals and it gave good win rate so i decided to make this series up and this series i'm going to continue for as long as possible but first let me prove them wrong okay so for a buy trade when it comes to this strategy remember we're using the ikanashi candle the 10 moving average which is the blue line you see here and the yellow line is the 30 exponential moving average the 10 is the blue exponential moving average you get me okay so that is just it so what do we look out for we look out for the cross and now we look for the first candle without the shadow which was this candle okay so we would have taken our trade on this next candle okay so if we do that let's see what it will give us okay so that would have been our first trade targeting a 1 to 1.5 win reward ratio okay so this is a 1 to 1.5 just here okay this is a 1 to 1.5 okay so let's assume this was 1 to 1.5 let's do that for this other trade because we had a cross down on this one again so you can see this was where we had the cross you see this candle was without the upper wicks that is part of the rule you must the candle must come without the upper week so we would have taken our trade on this next candle now let's take that candle and obviously it would have appeared somewhere here okay so now if we take that candle for a two to one a one to 1 1.5 sorry a one to 1 1.5 good let's do one to 1 1.5 all right yes you see it so now we have these two trade on our chart i'm going to mark it I'm going to mark it so that you guys can see it where it all happened i'm going to mark it up for you guys before i go into what i want to show you so i'm going to mark it with the horizontal line okay this was the first trade mark it there all right and this was the second trade i'll mark it there now that i have those two marked up all right i have those two marked up i'm just going to go over and change the candle back to the normal price because their argument was if it's not the normal price you can't get a good win rate now let me prove you extremely wrong now look at this i made a comment and i said most of the time you guys feel you are right about something look at where the cross happened look at where we entered the trade so you can see taking from this candle we actually hit take profit 100 percent in fact if we wanted to go as far as a one to two we would have it take profit on this one okay now see the other one we marked up here this was where we entered our trade okay this was where we entered our trade because obviously the iconashi formed 
well before so we entered our trade just at the open of this particular candle this was where we entered that trade it was where we entered that trade and what happened after then we hit take profit again so you guys when you guys want to criticize make sure you check this up because this was what i told them to do and most of them refused to do it we hit take profit on this one 100 percent yes the ikanashi candle is good and people trade it 100 percent and are profitable from it so that's what i wanted to show you so now i'll just go over the 100 channel that you know the rules i'll change my candle back to the ikanashi right and now that you know the rules we are good to go yes guys yes guys we're back again and we're back with the results so yes taking after taking trades on all 17 pairs okay as you can see i have 17 pairs lined up here after taking trade on all 17 pairs for today in this series okay i, I was able to take 36 trades okay 36 trades were taken from 4 a.m gmt plus one to 9 a.m gmt plus one okay we won 20 and lost 16 yes the result was not as good as the previous two days but that is why we are testing the series to know which of our days is going to be losing days okay so using a 1 to 1.5 win reward okay for on this trade i was able to get a 3 a 1 to 3.6 okay that if you risk 100 dollars you'd have been able to make 360 on this particular trade this is a good trade and you know what that means okay but re the recommended risk to reward is 1 to 1.5 don't get me wrong using one percent of your account you are safer that way okay so after taking those 36 trade for today i was able to win three in a row and i also lost three in a row so it was even on that part okay and i was able to make one thousand four hundred dollars okay so one thousand four hundred dollars if we add it to our previous balance okay if we add it to our previous balance which was already up fifteen thousand from a starting capital of 10k it was already up fifteen thousand three hundred with the starting balance of 10k so if we add up the 1400 okay 1400 dollars as you can see so we are up 16700 dollars on today's trade okay and this is just okay this is just thursday so we have tomorrow tomorrow is the last day in this week for this series remember we don't trade saturday and sunday so let's see what tomorrow holds for us if tomorrow is going to be a losing day remember it's friday friday can be rough so but let's see if this strategy holds up for us if you've not watched day one and day two make sure you watch that after this video i really appreciate you guys for staying tuned i'll see you on the next one stay blessed